Hi, I'm Sarah Jean Halmerson, Disaster Response Technician for the Intermountain Center for Disaster Preparedness. Today we are going to go through the process of donning Level C personal protective equipment for use during hospital-based patient decontamination operations. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I will be donning and doffing on my own in the video. You should always remember, we never go into a situation alone. We always go in pairs or teams. Your buddy should always have a donning and doffing checklist available so you never miss a step. Always don and always doff in a buddy team. We have our level C splash protective suit, butyl rubber hood, powered air purifying respirator connected to battery and hose, all three filters attached, hard soled butyl rubber boots, inner and outer gloves, chem tape. You wanna be sure you're wearing loose fitting clothing that wicks moisture away um, especially for extended use in operations, it gets very hot in the suit. If you have access to a cooling vest of some sort, that's also recommended, especially in higher temperatures. After inspection, the first process is to remove any personal items on, on my body that I either don't want to lose or might compromise the integrity of the suit. I have removed all of my, my personal items, keys, badge, belt, wallet, anything that might damage the suit from the inside. I have kept my silicone ring on. It's not gonna damage the gloves. Now the first thing to do is to remove my shoes. And I will go ahead and get into the suit. And the first step in donning the suit is to don to the waist. The suits that we use have integrated feet. So be sure that the outer gaiter cover is rolled up so that it can be pulled down over the boot once the boot is on. I'm going to zip halfway up to my waist so that I, once I apply the papper, it is over the zipper. You're going to close any seams that might exist all the way up to your zipper tab. For easier doffing, apply a piece of tape to the zipper itself so that when I'm in my butyl gloves later, it's easier to grab. We will don the boots over the booties, under the gaiter. If your suit does not have the integrated feet, then you still want the outer layer of the suit to go over the boots. So boots go under the suit in all cases. If you do have the integrated booty, make sure that as your foot goes into the boot, you avoid bunching or twisting the foot so that it doesn't restrict blood flow to your toes, make your foot go numb in the middle of operations. Once your feet are in the boots, they can be taped. Always leave a tab that you can grab yourself if needed. Ensure that the tape goes over the bottom seam of the leg and attaches directly to the boot itself. With each filter, there is a cap on either end. Both caps must be removed for adequate th flow through the papper itself. Remove the tab and apply the filter to the papper. We'll attach the battery. We'll attach the hose to the hood itself. Ensure that it snaps securely into place. Don the inner gloves. Don the outer gloves. Place your hands and arms into the sleeves and pull the suit up to your shoulders. Your buddy will tape the cuff of the sleeve to the outer glove. Secure the belt around your waist with the papper snug against your lower back. Turn on the battery. Place the hood over your head. Your buddy will tuck the inner shroud inside your suit. Zip the suit all the way up and drop the outer shroud over your shoulders. 
I'm Sarah Jean Halmerson with the Intermountain Center for Disaster Preparedness. Thanks for watching Donning Level C Personal Protective Equipment for Patient Decontamination Operations.